Now that you have Excel installed on your device, let's go ahead and open up the file that you'll be working on in this assignment. So on the assignment page, we'll need to scroll down to where we see the link to combpermexcel.xlsx. Go ahead and click on that link and that will go ahead and download the file into your system. If you're using a Windows system, you'll see a link to it right here that you can click on. If you're doing this in a mobile device, you'll probably see an opportunity to open this file. And when you go ahead and do that, it will open it up and then you can edit it. When it goes ahead and opens up the file, you'll probably have a little tab up here that says Protected View Enable Editing. You're going to need to do that so you can make modifications to this. Now we're ready to work on this file. The first thing you should do is to save this as a unique name. So I'm going to go up and say File and then Save As and I'm going to give it a name the name that I want you to use is the name that exists, but on the end of it, I want you to put underscore and then your last name. So in my case, it would be Grazer. Go ahead and save that. And now we can go ahead and start working in our worksheet. So in Excel, all Excel is is a gigantic table. All right? You can have these individual boxes here, and these boxes you can locate using a column and a row. You're not going to have to worry too much about this because the answers that you're going to be putting in here are in these yellow boxes. There is a tab down here that says practice that's going to allow you to practice this. And then once you've gone ahead and practice how to enter permutations, combinations, and factorials, you'll click on this second tab and then you'll go ahead and answer the questions here and then put the formulas in in these yellow spaces. So let's go back to where it says practice. So we need to use the factorial function fact, the permutation permit, and the combination function combin to compute these amounts. And the key thing here is I'll need to click in the yellow cell and if I want it to compute something, I have to start with an equal sign. Now, I want to do 12 factorial here. So I'm going to type F-A-C-T for factorial. I'll put a parentheses here. And then the number I'm doing the factorial on. So in this case, it's 12. Close off the parentheses. And that command tells Excel that you want to do 12 factorial. Press Enter and it goes ahead and calculates that for you. Now let's try this combination down here. Since it's a calculation, we're going to start with equals. We're going to use the combination function, C-O-M-B-I-N, and then a parentheses. Inside of that parentheses, we're going to go ahead and put that 25 and 5. So 25, comma 5, and the parentheses, and then press Enter and it calculates the number for us. Same thing down here, equals C-O-M-B-I-N parentheses, and then we're from the 10 items, we're going to select 2, and the parentheses, press Enter. So we keep doing this for all of these possibilities here. The only difference is if I'm doing a permutation, I have to use the appropriate formula, so equals P-E-R-M-U-T, that's permutation, parentheses, 15, comma, 4, and the parentheses. Press Enter. Down here, it'll be equals P-E-R-M-U-T, the permit, parentheses, 5, comma, 4, and the parentheses, and enter. Now the very last one here is a little bit different because here we're going to have to do a combination and a permutation and then multiply them. So I'll start with an equals. I'll do the combination, C-O-M-B-I-N, parentheses, 5, comma, 2, and the parentheses. 
Now I'm going to take the star key, which is usually along the very top row of keys, and then P-E-R-M-U-T, parentheses, 7, 3. Make sure you're using capital letters on these commands because it won't necessarily understand it if you use lowercase. Press enter and it calculates out the value for me. So once you've practiced on all of these, then I want you to come over here to the questions and you want to read the questions here, figure out, am I going to do factorial, am I going to do combination, am I going to do permutation, and then click over here in the yellow spot that corresponds to that particular question and use the fact, the permit or the combin formulas to actually calculate it. If you just type the number in here without doing the calculation using the equals and those functions, you will not get credit. So you need to do it the same way we did on the other, uh, the other page. One thing I can tell you here is once you've gone ahead and had it compute, you'll see the number in here. But if something goes wrong or you want to make a change, you can always click on the cell. And up here on top, you'll see that there's a formula bar that'll tell you what you typed in to actually get that. I find the most common mistake here is that people forget to do the equals. And if you forget to do the equals, it's just going to type in what that formula is, those letters and numbers. It's not going to calculate it. You need to have the equals at the very beginning. Now, once you're done, go ahead up here click on the save and that'll go ahead and save it to your hard drive. Then you can go ahead and close this out and then you need to come down and go ahead and follow the instructions to upload that file, the one that has underscore your last name on the end of it. You're going to go ahead and upload that into the assignment and then you'll be able to uh, turn that in. I'll be able to download it and grade it and then I will put your grade in the My Math Lab gradebook.